Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor. Today, we're going to talk about major research tools unused by most resellers. Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor. Today, we're going to talk about some major research tools that just no one seems to use. I've used them for years. They're out there for anybody to use pretty much for free, and they help immensely. Let's hop over to the screen and show you something you'll be surprised at right now. As many people do know, eBay does have platforms in other countries, but most people wouldn't think to go to those platforms and research their items here for selling on the U.S. eBay site. Many times when I can't figure out something, whether it's from England, France, UK, Germany, or wherever the case may be, I will go to eBay's site in that country and I will research it there. You can use Google Translate to translate what the item is very easily if you can find other examples of it. A large majority of the time when I can't find an item here, a pricing, whether it be on Terapeak or anywhere else, I will simply go to that site. I go to France and Germany quite often. I do use the English site, the UK site. I use the Canadian site occasionally as well, too. Each site has their own research history from comp sales. In most of those sites, you can actually have access to through your US eBay account. Some of the sites, such as France and Germany, I can watch items on that platform and they will show up in my US My Hub section. So that is a key thing that you should know. You may have to click translate on every page, but you have the access. Some of these sites even have complete English versions available, so you wouldn't have to translate every single page. I enjoy going to some of the other sites because you see a wide range of items similar to things that you may have on those platforms platforms and have a better idea to judge them. You may also have to translate the currency to US, but that is not an issue any way, shape, or form. So here we are. This is just a random page that I found. It's from a blog post, but they list all of the sites. I have this saved just because it was easier. And this has them all on one page. You can literally open up with a link to every site that's on here. For those supporters and subscribers and Patreons from Australia, here is your site here. I do go to your site. I know we do exchange some information. This is a good site to look at for certain things, as are all the other sites. I honestly use these. Just sign in. You're going to give the same information you have on the U.S. site. And most of the eBay sites will allow you to just go right in like it's the same standard account. It would just be an obviously another language if it's not an English-based site. So when you can look down here, there's Australia, Austria. Again, I have used all of these sites. It will take you there directly. Now you could just memorize eBay.at or whatever the designation would be, AU for Australia, and then just go there directly if you want. It will translate as well. You can just automatically hit it. And if not, it is always set up on the Google top bar up there also. We also have Belgium, which I've used as well. You've got Canada, obviously. You also have a Chinese eBay site, which many people are unaware of. France, which is one that I have used many times. The French platform links straight up to your U.S. account. So if you need to research something specifically that's not on the U.S. site, you can just go over here to France and search it just like anything else. It has a comp page to look up for ended listings, sold listings, just like it does on the U.S. site, as do all of the eBay platforms. So if you can't find all the information, as I said, just keep looking through here. Here's the German eBay site. You've got eBay Ireland site, eBay Italy site, eBay Hong Kong, eBay Malaysia, eBay Netherlands, eBay Philippines, eBay Poland. You got eBay Singapore, eBay Spain, eBay Switzerland, eBay Taiwan, eBay Thailand, obviously the UK, and then the US site here. And you also have Vietnam right here also. So these are all sites that you can use to translate certain things. You can use them to look up comps for many of your items. They're right there for you. You don't have to do anything for most of these sites. Now, some of these sites like China, it is a big difference. You can't just type in the keys to log in. So that site may not do you very well unless you have a setup for that. But the rest of the sites are fairly easy to at least look at and check out some comps. The most useful ones 
ones are the European sites, Australia, UK, obviously, and Canada. I use those quite often. eBay France is great as well. These sites have different items, obviously, than the US site. And as I said, the comps are different on each one of those sites. There is no centralized location that eBay has that you can look at comps for all of their platforms together. That would be something extremely helpful for certain items, especially if it would auto-translate to US. But, you know, that is not out there at this point, so you're going to have to pop up to the specific pages themselves. And as I said, click the sign-in, and most of them, if you type in your same logins you have on the US site, it will log you in on that site as well, too. It's all eBay. It all shows up the ones that I have used in my Seller Hub, as I said, for watching and the whole work. So hopefully that gives you a real good idea here. It's a simple tool. It's just the same thing as the US site. You may have to hit the translate button a few times. But other than that, you'll get some solid information that you just can't find anywhere else, and it won't cost you a dime. It works the same way as the US site as well, so there's no big learning curve other than hitting translation. But that's what I have for you. Hopefully that helps out. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.